<laughs> Wait a minute. You guys haven't even known each other a year, have you? No. If you want to take anything, go get it now. Yeah, you better listen to your dad, Asher, because father knows best. Look, maybe you should lay off the alcohol for a while. Oh, come right? on. What the hell do you know? I know you're drunk. Anybody can see that. Yeah. Right, you want to leave? Go ahead and leave. Then I'll just tell Colby. She needs to find herself a new uh, puppy dog to lead around. Look, um, when Colby gets back from her vlog tour, tour that, you know, I want to see her. Yeah, she won't care. What happened to you, man? What happened to me? Yeah. What happened to me? Life happened to me. You came sneaking up behind me and kicked me right in the ass. If you stick around this world long enough, it'll happen to you, too. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be just fine. Got all this traffic buzzing around here, so... Get on out of here. Cheer. I said go! Leave. Get some help, Cheer. strong and brave. Of but course you are. Of course you are. But you know, sometimes the bravest thing is to just let yourself cry your eyes out. <laughs> you know, yell at your fear and let the people who love you take care of you. I don't know you need them. I've hurt Jake so badly. It's all right. It's all right. He loves you. Right now, you need your husband, you need your family, and that includes me. So you just gotta let us love you, take care of you. I don't know what else I can tell you. So you keep saying? Look, I really gotta get back to the hospital, okay, so if okay, there are no more questions... Okay, okay, it's just that I'm not trying to give you a hard time with this. I'm, I'm really not. I... Just, you knew David as, as a mentor, as, 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 as a brilliant doctor, as a teacher, you know, and now you know him as a megalomaniac who has absolutely no boundaries in order to get what he wants. Look, I really wish I could tell you more, but I've told you everything that I know. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I gotta go. But you think only the great David Hayward is the only one who can treat me. Because I still care about you, Greenlee. So it is personal. And I don't want you to feel any pain, all right? I'll be fine. Not if there's pressure on the nerves. Not if all the work I did to reconstruct your spinal column is botched by some hospital hack. <laughs> That's really saying something about your staff. You know what I'm talking about. And you know I'm right. I saved you once, Greenlee. I brought you back to life when no other traditional doctor would have ever thought it possible. Now, that's not arrogance. It's a simple fact. Actually, it is arrogance. But maybe you're right. You don't trust me in a lot of ways. But when it comes to your health, you know you can trust me. So you really think it could be something serious? Give me a chance to find out. Let me examine you. Okay. I am sorry. What are you sorry for? Oh, come on, going on and on like this. About my dead wife to my new wife. Your new wife thinks it's A-okay. Yeah. Well, I just don't know why it's hitting me like this. So suddenly, in the out of the blue. Because she was a huge part of your life. 
And now she inspired you to be the man you are today, to be the best friend, best husband, fake or real, any woman would ever want. So who am I now? What do you mean? I mean, who am I now? Who is... I, I, I think I should find out who Thaddeus Martin is separate from Dixie, and I thought I had done that. And I finally made peace with her death. And obviously, I haven't. And I think now is the time. I mean, don't you think it's crazy? I mean, Dixie has been dead for years. You but... don't need to explain. No, I mean, I think I do. I think I want to, to make sense of it for me. I... I have to move on. I have to put closure to this thing somehow so that getting a shoebox of junk in the mail doesn't set me back this badly. Well, I understand the importance of closure. Probably because I didn't get it. With Shake? Yeah. You know, I said I came to Pine Valley to see my brother, but really... I had all this hope that one day Jake and I would get back together. We knew that. Right. But you helped me move on. And I'd like to return the favor. Sorry, I was that was presumptuous of me, wasn't no, it? No. Yeah, a little bit. No, little no, bit. no, you don't no. Want me to... You don't understand. It's it's a blessing, you know. It's a kindness. And I think I think I need you. Really? Really. What's more, if you agree, I mean, I would like you to be there when I say goodbye. looking at what oh yeah okay you're disappointed in me again dad Just like we thought it would. David bought it? He practically begged me to let him give me an exam. He's still very invested in keeping me healthy. That's because he still loves you. Part of it could be that. But I also think that David enjoys being a miracle healer. And I happen to be his prized subject. So he had no idea at all that you were faking? Listen, David cannot prove whether pain does or doesn't exist. And my having a relapse would be an affront to his genius. So he's going to do everything he can to make sure I'm healthy. And then I can find out if my dream was real or not. Just be careful. I'm always careful. I'm serious. Too many trips down memory lane and, and, and David's gonna get suspicious. I'll make sure he doesn't. But I need to find out if someone else was with me in David's lab and if there was another person, who was it? Maybe his protege knows. Who, Griffin? Did you talk to him again? Well, yeah, I did most of the talking. He still claims that he has no idea what Project Orpheus is or of any knowledge David doing anything wrong. Claims. He's keeping something back. I asked you to leave. Sorry. I want you out of here. When I started working on Orpheus, you said it was a research project. Research that would take years to implement. So what? Spit it out, Griff. Get it off your chest. Is Project Orpheus pure research? Or have you been experimenting on humans? 